It's been a year preparing this 1984 Ericsson 38. Well, let's put on some new rub rail from the Taco Company. The original rub rail on the Ericsson's, many of them, was a, an aluminum a section that gets a little bit dinged and old looking after 30 years plus. This goes on pretty easily. It took us about four hours after two full days of preparation getting the old silicone sealant off of the boat which I replaced with Dow 291. My friends Russ and Richard were a big help. It's really a three-man job. So while these guys do all the work, let's go below and take a look at some of the many little jobs that take a lot of time. You know, on the original uh, Ericsson 38, the pass-through to the trash bin was a fold-down door which drove me crazy. I mean, every time you throw something away, you have to open the door, throw it away, and then close the door. Sometimes it takes two hands. I rebuilt it with a left opening uh, door on the left and that. You just reach in, drop what you have, and go about your business. All these old boats uh, have their wonderful teak interiors marred by dings and kicks and the dropped hammer now and again. It's pretty easy to fix. You just clamp on some old piece of teak, plant it down. And I think the wood doesn't matter so much as just restoring the original profile. Bunk boards are, are an old tradition and absolutely required at sea unless you like falling out of bed onto the floor. I think I saw this design in Don Casey's book. It's just a couple of U-shaped pieces of uh, mahogany into which a six-inch board fits pretty easily. But you know, those bunks were not comfortable. The previous owner had bought really expensive but very firm foam, which I couldn't sleep on, and here's the answer. The bit for this piece of mayhem is called uh, an upholstery button drill, and it makes drilling uh, foam uh, pretty easy. And with 16 cushions on the boat, I wouldn't call it a Saturday morning job. Much more comfortable, though. I use non-marinized car radios on my boats, and I built a little teak holder for the iPhone and its Bluetooth capability next to it. You know that you can get pretty sick of Frank Sinatra. There's a mall in my neighborhood that plays Frank Sinatra day and night in its parking lot. My foolish heart, there's a line between love and fascination. That's so hard to see on an evening such as this. For they both give the very same sensation when you're lost in the magic of a kiss. Well, it wasn't the magic of a kiss that caused the crevice corrosion that destroyed my backstay chain plate. I'm still waiting for the replacement part to get made at the welder shop. Frank. Frank. This time it's love, my Frank. Well, you gotta have a bookcase. Books are heavy, they fall around, you don't want them to get wet. Pretty easy to make. Now for the bunk board on the port side, that's where I like to sleep, behind the table. I had to come up with a sort of a Rube Goldberg invention. There'd be a limited bunk board that attaches to the bulkhead under the table. So you get in sort of this way. This is where I sleep at sea. And the bunk board will fit there. And that means that you can get out should you happen to hear the ship alarm go off or hit a coral reef or find aliens descending on deck in the middle of the night. A binocular box, I make all of the stuff uh, now out of uh, Home Depot, quote, mahogany, end quote. It's good to have binoculars in reach and especially a flashlight at night. Here's a great idea for 10 bucks. You know, the quarter berth gets packed full of stuff. The masonite is shiny. Even a heavy dinghy slides in and out very easily without damaging 
the upholstery. When I first got this boat, this is what the electrical panel looked like. All of the grounds covered the circuit breakers. So I put a hinge on it and moved the grounds to a bus bar inside the compartment and now you can actually work on it, you know, without a dental mirror and a harakiri knife. The uh, gooseneck on our boats, this is a very popular Ken uh, Kenyan boom section with a typical 30-year-old gooseneck fitting. They're aluminum and they sort of wear out. Um, I had it welded and then drilled out the hole and, and painted it up and put it back, but I have a new part on order. I think it's 700 bucks from Rigright. It seems to me that sole design wasn't intended for all the downward forces that we have nowadays, but there you are. All right, let's finish up the rub rail job. You know, this is by far the most important moment because if you put this arrow facing backwards, that's the way you'll go. I think we're going in the right direction now. New rub rail is really just cosmetic, and once it's on, you can't even remember how terrible the old rub rail looked, but that's yachting, isn't it? Sometimes I think, especially when I see kids in Optimus prams, wasn't it all a lot simpler then? <laughs> 